In this video, we're going to be looking at solving cosh of x is equal to 4. Now, you might be wondering as to why I'm going to be doing this in between trying to find logarithmic forms for the inverse hyperbolic functions. Well, the reason for this is that how we find our answers to this equation does have direct relevance on what we're going to be doing in the next video. Okay, so there is a reason for doing this, as hopefully you'll see. So to solve cosh x is equal to 4, what I can do is I can write cosh of x as e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2 as equal to 4. So e to the x plus e to the minus x is equal to 8. Multiply through by e to the x, we get e to the 2x plus 1 is equal to 8e to the x. So e to the 2x, take away 8e to the x plus 1 is equal to 0. OK, so what I can do now is I could, uh, I could use the quadratic formula, or I could complete the square, I'm going to complete the square. So e to the x, take away 4, all squared, take away 16 plus 1 is equal to 0. So e to the x take away 4 will be equal to, so minus 16 plus 1 is minus 15. Add 15 to both sides and square root both sides, we get plus or minus root 15. And so e to the x is equal to 4 plus or minus root 15. Okay. So that means that x must be equal to the natural log of 4 plus or minus the square root of 15. Now, 4 take away root 15 is going to be uh, greater than 0, so that's perfectly fine. We're not taking the logarithm of a negative number there. And we would be expecting two answers, wouldn't we? Because if we think about the curve of y equals cosh x, which looks like this, then y equals 4 is this line here. Remember, that's 1. So we get two values, log of 4 plus root 15, and this point here, which is log of 4 minus root 15. Now, the important point here is that actually what we're getting is that log of 4 plus root 15 must be the negative of log of 4 minus root 15 and vice versa. Now that's not immediately obvious as to why that would be the case. So if we add them together, log of 4 minus root 15 plus log of 4 plus root 15, this should be equal to 0. So if we use our log laws, we have the log of 4 take away root 15 times 4 plus root 15. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times root 15, 4 root 15. Take away 4 root 15. And then minus root 15 times root 15 is minus 15. And we get log of 16 take away 15, so log of 1. So clearly, one is the negative of the other. So this is the important point here, that the two results that you get from solving an equation like cosh x equals k, so if you're solving cosh of x is equal to k, where k is greater than 1, then the two solutions that you get for x will be the negative of one another. Okay? So keep that in mind for the next video.